Hello and welcome to Hampton, Virginia. We are here for the visit Hampton, Virginia 175. I'm Rick Allen alongside Phil Parsons. The day has been a conventional southeastern day. It was very warm. We had a thunderstorm pass through, and now we're ready to race. And how about this point battle? 12 points separating first, second, and third. Pretty tight battle. Max Gresham sits in the second position behind Darrell Wallace, Jr. Phil, let's talk about your storylines. Yeah, real flat racetrack, Rick. You want to be able to turn the car in the center of the corner, get going the other direction. Forward bite is really an issue on this advanced wear surface in throttle management. Talking to Matt DiBenedetto, he said, I never got more than half throttle anywhere on this racetrack. How about Father's Day weekend? Bill Elliott here watching his son, Chase Elliott. He'll talk to him from up in the spotter stand. Let's go down to the third man on our broadcast team, Derek Pernisiglio. Brandon? First time here running a K&N car, but you've got a lot of experience here in late models. That, does that give you the advantage? Oh, yeah, definitely. We uh, went out for practice, and we're already at near the top of the board real quick without getting any testing here at all. So definitely the late models helped out a lot. Your teammates with your dad, you going to cut him any slack tonight? Uh, he's another competitor, so probably not. How about you, Rick? You've raced here before in the late models. What's it like racing with your son? Oh, racing with him, I, I've learned so much watching him pass me uh, time after time after time. So uh, it's been great. It's been great. Is there anything that you can help him with? Uh, no, some, you know, a little bit of you know, experience I've had in the past, just uh, in the long races and things, and just how to survive and hang on, you know, don't uh, wear out your tires. So, But he's, uh, he seemed to pick it up pretty quick, so there's not a lot I can teach him at this point. A great father-son bond between Rick and Brandon Godovic. They will race tonight here at Langley Speedway. This just under four-tenths of a mile racetrack. We've got 26 cars that will take the green flag when we come back. Welcome back to the NASCAR Canyon Pro Series east from Langley Speedway. Phil, let's take a look at the particulars of this track. This racetrack is just under four tenths of a mile. You see the corners are banked at six degrees. There's a flatter apron inside of the corners that you can actually get probably better grip sometimes than you can on the racetrack. Very old surface, very, very abrasive. We see a little bit darker of a racetrack there below the yellow line. Take a look at our starting grid. Coleman Presley grabbed his second career pole here at this racetrack, and within the last three races, that was his second. Yeah, and X-Team Racing, one, two, three, and Revolution Racing, four, five, six. 26 starters, 24 of them inside one half a second. It is going to be a very tight race. Field in line. Green flag is out. We're underway at Langley. Already, we're seeing guys take the left side tires down below that yellow line. See Coleman Presley from the pole, his left side. Now all four tires for a moment down below the line, but Alex Bowman gets the lead on the outside. Alex Bowman takes the top spot early in this oh, one. Goes way, wide. way up the racetrack. That allows Coleman Presley to take the top spot once again as they enter three. Alex fights back, but Coleman has a preferred line. There's Sergio Pena going to pull right up beside Alex Bowman. Pena trying to take second away, but Bowman has it for now. Pena still sticking the nose right in there, trying to get that second spot away from Alex Bowman. We're seeing a lot of those guys use that apron of the racetrack. There's Sergio with his left sides down below the yellow line to get some grip. Sergio with a good run early on as they stay side by side for second. Just behind them, though, is Matt Benedetto in the 15, waiting for one to take the advantage so he can make a move. Now he's going to pull up to the inside of his teammate Alex Bowman to try to get that third spot, and he has it. Easily grabs the spot. Problems for Brett Moffitt. It looks as though he's got a tire down. The left front tire is down for Brett Moffitt. What a horrible break for Brett Moffitt. That's going to cost him at least a couple laps as he brings the car down to pit road to Mike Grichy and his guys. We stay green, so Moffitt on the inside of the track will get the left front tire changed, and we continue to race. Good racing. There's Max Gresham on the inside. That's a battle for eighth. Corey LaJoy, the 0-7 on the outside. Eddie McDonald, the 71 trailing. A little smoke just in front of him. In the two of Ryan Gifford, still smoking off the right side. Tire rub on the right rear. Looks like he got against the outside wall, probably exiting one of the corners. Definitely has a pretty significant tire rub there. A little bit of damage to Ryan Gifford's right side. So Chase Elliott just behind him in the number nine, trying to get that position away from him. There's Brett Moffitt back on the racetrack. He is two laps down. Brett Moffitt will have a steep hill to climb today. I'm not sure that tire is going to make it. 
Keeping our eye on Ryan Gifford again. The right rear tire smoking because of the damage to the right rear quarter panel. Looks like he's got some damage to the left rear quarter panel as well. Chase Elliott right behind him in the nine car. He doesn't want to go to the outside in case something happens to that right rear tire and around he would go. So Joe Pena holding on to second behind Coleman Presley, our leader. And just behind them, Matt DiBenedetto in the 15. Easy on the throttle, just like you have an egg underneath that gas pedal foot. You don't want to spin these rear tires and, and, and make them mad. Always talking about forward bite when we come to racetracks, and that's what they want. They want to make sure to keep those wheels connected to the ground when they give it the gas and acceleration off of turns number two and four. There's Chase pulls up beside the two of Ryan Gifford. Chase would love to get uh, that two car in his mirror and not have to worry about whether that right rear tire is going to go down on Ryan Gifford's car. A little bit of a rougher transition when they go into turns one and three. You see some sparks flying every now and then when they're bottoming out, but they're able to take advantage of that shorter line around this racetrack. They certainly are, and there's actually more grip down there with a little bit darker pavement. The field has lined up now. Let's go down to Derek Pernasiglia. What's going on in the garage? Well, so far, it's a solid run for the kid they call the Super Shoe, Corey LaJoy. But this weekend, the LaJoy family is racing with a heavy heart. Their good friend, Jimmy Smith, who was a five-time modified champion at the Danbury Stadium, passed away on Sunday due to his long battle with cancer. So this weekend, the LaJoy family is dedicating this race to Jimmy Smith. There's strong roots up in the Northern Modified Tour for the LaJoys and so many of the people involved in our sport. LaJoy. Currently chasing after Ryan Gifford in that two. Again, we've talked about the tire rub. There's Eddie McDonald just behind LaJoy in the 71. Darrell Wallace Jr., the six car right behind Eddie McDonald. Darrell Wallace Jr., our points leader coming into this race. All top ten finishes, all six races. Halfway through now, we've got six to go, six in the books. Very consistent. Coleman Presley still consistently running well up front as he's holding off Sergio Pena and Matt DiBenedetto. Good shot of that. The sparks you were talking about entering turn number one. There's a bit of a bump, that transition getting down in one. Coleman Presley still holding on to the top spot. Problems. Brandon Godovic goes around in the 46. That will bring out our first caution. It looks like you can see the damage on the left rear quarter panel. Looks like there was some contact. I believe he was racing with the 0 3. There it is right there. There's a the contact, Cody Hodgson. So the 0-3 spins Brandon Godovic around. That's short track racing. We're under our first caution here at Hampton, Virginia. We'll be right back.